Hi, this is Lars with RoadBikeRider.com, and today I'm going to tell you about the Wahoo Smart Trainer system. Uh, we've got the whole integrated system here, the Wahoo Kicker, which is their high-end trainer. Uh, it's the most expensive one. The Kicker Headwind, which is a fan, but that does a little bit more than a fan. It's like a smart fan. Uh, and the Kicker Climber, which attaches to the front of your bike and uh, simulates when you're going uphill or downhill on uh, on sites like Swift when you're training. So you get more of a sense of, uh, of what you're actually doing. Uh, these are the three boxes that they come in. Uh, I have them here for the beginning of the video just so you can get an idea of what, uh, what they look like. So if you're going to pick it up at the bike shop and throw it in your car or get it shipped to you or whatever. Uh, so let me go in deeper and start telling you about the trainer and all the pieces. Okay, uh, now the this system uh, with all three units, you've got the the kicker, the climb, and the headwind, and they all work together. Now it took me when I first got them, it took me approximately 30 to 40 minutes to take it all out of the box and uh, get it all plugged in and figure out how to attach it to my bike. Uh, now, this is a uh, road disc brake bike, so it uses through axles. And I was excited to see that, uh, that they've got every possible option for both the climb and the kicker itself for all the different through axle sizes, as well as just your regular quick release skewer if you just have a regular road bike. Uh, so it's easy to set up. You just got to pick out whichever one that you need for your bike, and it just attaches and goes right on. Now, when you plug them all in, uh, you're going to need three plugs because each thing requires power. And then after you plug them in, you're going to want to have your, uh, your tablet or your mobile phone, and you can get the Wahoo Fitness app for the, from whatever app store you use. And once you launch that, through Bluetooth, it's going to connect to all these different devices so you can see that they're all connected. Uh, it's a really straightforward process, and it worked pretty much instantly uh, when when I set it up. So it was easy to use. Uh, I, I liked the the Wahoo app. So with the Wahoo Climb, you have this controller right here that you can uh, attach to your handlebars like that. Uh, I'm not going to attach it completely right now, but that gives you an idea of how it works. And with this little remote here, you can control it manually where you can make it go up or down like this. Now, when you're using it with uh, Zwift or Ruby or any of the other apps that, uh, that are compatible with, uh, with the Wahoo, uh, what's going to happen is when, if you're going up a hill on Zwift, it's going to sync with this, and then you're going to feel it go up. And it's really kind of cool because it, it adds a, a more realistic feel to the to the trainer, whereas you know everything sort of looks flat on Swift when you're riding it otherwise, and you just feel it getting harder when you're going up a hill. But this way it tilts, and you really get an idea uh, as it increases your wattage that you have to push out, and it becomes harder to pedal. So one thing that you need to pay attention to that uh, it took me a minute and a few Google searches to figure out is that you when you start messing with this thing manually, it puts it in locked mode. So it's not going to move, and it's not going to be connected to Swift. So you're going up a hill on Swift, and you're going, well, why is it not going up and down? I don't understand what's happening. What you do is you hit the center button, and then you see there's two lights here. One light is a locked padlock, and the other one is an unlocked padlock. When it goes to the unlocked padlock, that's when it's unlocked, and it's going to read from, uh, from Swift, and Swift is going to control it instead of the controller. So then it'll work when you're riding on the trainer. Um, and that is basically how the climb works. So with the Wahoo headwind, uh, it looks just like a sort of a regular fan that you'd put in front of the trainer. But it's on right now, but it's not blowing. It's because I'm not pedaling. Now, there's, uh, it's, it's a smart fan to go along with the climb and the, and the whole system. 
and you can set it up multiple ways. You can set it up as a standard fan if you want, uh, where you just put it on all the different, you know, low, medium, high, extra high, or you can set it up where it syncs with your heart rate if you have your heart rate monitor set up with the whole system. Now, I don't have a Bluetooth heart rate monitor, so I don't have my heart rate one set up with this yet. Uh, but there's another option that works with Zwift or any of the other sites that give you a, a, a speed is that it works by speed. So I have it set up right now. Uh, I've got Zwift running right here uh, and I have it set on speed. So now as I start pedaling, the fan is going to start blowing and then the faster I pedal, the faster the fan goes because it's based on speed. So now the fan is probably blowing on the microphone. It's, it's uh, blowing pretty fast. So this is great because obviously when you're working harder on uh, Swift or any of the other apps and you're you're training or doing an interval, uh, you want the fan to blow harder because it gets really hot on a trainer because you're just sitting still. And it also gives you a sort of a, a more realistic feel to when you're using Swift. The same thing, because you know the faster you go, the the more the wind is or the fan goes. And so it's it's kind of a, a cool fan. It's it's a very effective fan as well. Uh, it it gives you a lot of airflow, and I like it. So now let's talk a little bit about the Wahoo kicker itself. Uh, the kicker comes, you know, with these, these legs go in and out. So if you're going to store it someplace, you can put the legs together and so it's narrower. And it's got this handle right here where you can easily pick it up. It's quite heavy. It, uh, it weighs more than 50 pounds. Uh, so that handle is very useful for carrying it around. Uh, it, the, the, Kicker comes with a, a cassette. It's an 11 speed cassette. So if you're running, you know, an 11 speed road bike, then it's just gonna, it's gonna work. You don't have to take the cassette off your own wheels. You can use the one that's there, which is very convenient. Um, now it works with Bluetooth and it also works with Ant Plus, but I haven't tested that yet, and uh, I haven't tried to sync it that way, so I, I don't have much to say about the Ant Plus, but I'll say that with Bluetooth, it immediately synced with my phone uh, and also with the, the iPad, and it was quite easy to use. Now, what makes it a smart trainer uh, is the fact that you're running it with these apps. Now, there's the Wahoo fitness app itself, uh, which you use to do all the setup. And then once you have it set up, there's any number of apps that you can also use, uh, like Sufferfest, um, Trainer Road, uh, Zwift, Ruby. Uh, th these are different apps that either let you ride with other people online or let you program a specific workout uh, into the, the app. And then when you get on the trainer and you've got your tablet or your laptop or your, maybe your Apple TV, there's also an Apple TV app for some of these, uh, some, some of these apps. It tells you what your workout's supposed to be as you're doing it. And it's controlling how much wattage that you are pedaling. So let's say you're going to do a warm up at 110 watts for five minutes, and then it's going to make you pedal 250 watts for five minutes. Well, what happens is when you get on there and start pedaling, like, well, I want to pedal faster. Well, it it lets off on the pressure, and it's not going to really let you pedal more than 110 watts or, or whatever the, the amount is going to be. And the same thing when it gets to the time when you got to pedal 250 watts then it starts to get harder. It doesn't matter. It doesn't control how fast you pedal. You can spin it out to get you 250 watts, or you can pedal really slow. But when it's set for 250 watts for five minutes, that's what you're going to have to pedal. And so that's why it's great for a structured workout. Whereas, you know, 
if you're pedaling on the road and your coach is giving you some workout and you've got your power meter, well, you can slack off on your, on your watts. But when you're doing it on the trainer like this, it's definitely going to make you complete the wattage that you've programmed into it. And that's, uh, that's kind of cool. So that is basically how the trainer works. Now, uh, I really like having the full system like this. Uh, by the way, Wahoo sent me this demo so I could explain how the whole system works. And so thanks to Wahoo for, uh, for sending me this to demo and, and show all you guys uh, how it works. But when you've got the, the fan and the climb and the, the trainer all work together, it is an amazing like system for, for riding Swift for sure. And uh, it just makes it a lot more fun than just your standard, just a trainer and you find whatever house fan you can find. And, uh, and then you just sit there and look at the screen and do it. It, it really adds a more interactive element to it. Um, I am, really happy with this. I had not ridden a trainer for more than 10 years. And uh, so smart trainers are new to me. And, you know, to be honest, I was a little skeptical. It's like, well, you know, what is it going to be easy to use one? Because that's a lot of technology with all the apps and Bluetooth and does it all just work? Well, surprisingly for me, it, it worked almost like magic. I mean, it was, it was a really easy setup. And so I was, I was pleased about that. And, uh, it is so much more interesting. You know, if, if you've only used like an old turbo trainer 10 or 20 years ago, uh, where you just sit on there and you pedal and it's miserable and you just want to get your workout over with, and you can barely make, make yourself pedal on it. This using Swift or any of the other workouts, it is, amazingly different and uh, it's it's a lot more fun and now I understand why on Strava over the past uh, 18 months to a year I've seen more and more of uh, all my friends uploading all their Swift workouts and now I know why so many people are using uh, Swift and all these uh, these apps because it's fun it uh, it's fun and it lets you get in a workout quicker than going out on the road or if there's bad weather so that is the Wahoo system. I like it and uh, it is fun to try.